Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. I am High Lord Tamerlane and this here in front of me is a box that is now falling apart. What's inside it? Uh, let's see if I can get it on the screen there. This is Ulo the New Crank Coltan. So, I think it's a Coltan. Coltan? Coltan. Anyway, he comes to us from Mirce's Darkland game and he is the chief boss model for... The Crab Men from the Formaic Kindred. Not a faction, but a kindred. And this is one of the first 3D sculptor, at least that I know is a 3D sculpted model from Mir. So this is going to be an interesting build for me. Obviously, this is his weapon and a bunch of little claws that are going to go somewhere. It was an 80 millimeter base, by the way. And being a crab, or be it a giant one, he is going to have a bunch of legs. This is going to be really fun. And thankfully, whoever casts these, I believe Tim Prow is doing the casting still for Mirrors. Uh, all of the models are actually marked, so if you have the entire unit of the Crabmen, you can see they all have their names there. And on the other side, thankfully, all of the pieces are labeled. So I'm not going to go and chop everything up and get it all prepped and show off all the pieces bit by bit because I am absolutely going to have no idea where these things are going to go. So you're just going to have to bear with me. I probably will build our friend Ulo here in bits and pieces as I film this. So at least we know which legs are which. That is a big plus. Casting quality is really nice. I definitely have no issues there. Then again, I never really have had any problems with mere stuff. And the few times that I have, one time with uh, Srock, I believe his name was, one of the um, Crocodar chieftains for the Cathone faction, uh, they hooked me up with a new head and some extra bits to go along with it because I wanted to modify it, and that worked out well. There's the last of the four legs. This is one of the main claws. I'm not sure if he has multiples. This is the top and bottom of his weapon again i gotta say you know what i am wrong i have built some of their 3d printed sculpted models whatever you want to call them the angadern duh here is what looks to be his torso i'm not sure which is the top i think that's the top and then the head sits on this he's got a lot of shell parts so we've got this big Crusty, I mean, very crusty shell of a crab here. Here is the actual head, I believe. You can see his eyes deep set in there. I'm not sure how many he has. This is the lower abdomen shell. A little bit of flash they've got to clean up there. Nothing too bad. This thing is going to be murder on a paintbrush, I'm afraid. I don't recognize that faction symbol. Usually the Fomorian stuff has the Eye of Baylor, but maybe that's for the octopus dude that we're waiting how many years for? Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. I don't even remember his name. I'm not sure where these are going to go. Little scuttling claws? Because this is the other hand, and it's got the big pincer right here. I'm thinking, and if I read correctly, what I'm going to need to do is actually build the arms, attach them, put the spear into, not a spear, but the trident, put the trident into the hand and then glue the larger pincer on top. So I think first things first, let's get the lower half of him built since that's going to be the most complex in terms of remembering what's what. All right, let's check it out. We've got the beginnings of Ulo all so far so good. Notice that he actually barely fits on his base. So I thought this was actually a really nice easy build once I got the legs wiggled in. The back left was a little uncooperative but realizing that they all needed to sit flush you can see here that each of them has a nice big block there to facilitate keeping him stable because obviously if it was all little tapered points he's not going to be able to stand at all. So just giving you a Good quick view of how big this model is going to be with our usual friends. So it's going to be a fairly good size kit. Uh, we're going to start building up the rest of the body and we'll see how he looks when he's all done. So far I am quite happy with the results. And we have Ulo here just about completely finished. And I say just about completely finished because 
He's got these little hooks that go on his back of his shell. There's four of them, and I don't know exactly where they're going to go. So I actually left the top half separate just so I can get in there and get to the details. Getting this trident attached to his claws was a bit of a challenge, but in the end, it seems pretty sturdy, and I'm quite happy with the results. So you can see here, one of the holes is actually a little filled in that we're going to have to clear out there, but you can see the other four, three, plus one more is four. I know my numbers. Overall, pretty cool. I got to say, I really like the variety I always have of the Fomorian Kindred. They tend to have all kinds of interesting stuff. I don't have any of my other... Fomorian's handy, sadly. I have all of the rhino men put away at the moment, along with uh, Melik or Melikior or whatever the name of the big fish man dude was. So I thought instead, you know what, why don't I try grabbing a couple other crab type crustacean models just to show how large these are. So these are some of the big guys from Star Saga that Mantic put out recently. Here are some of the armored whelk. I mean, they're, they're crabs, but they're more hermit crab type from the other side in the Gibbering Hordes faction, and then, I don't remember what this guy's called, but he is one of the Wrath of Kings models from Hadros, who were the underwater family or house, house I think they were called. So, I mean, I'm thinking this might be the fun beginnings of some kind of a fully crustacean Trident Realms Kings of War army. I also had a Gar here from gates of Antares just to hang out with all the other crab men so definitely a cool model you know he's got some a nice presence to him very dynamic in three dimensions and I'm afraid I'm gonna break him if I keep doing that there but you definitely get a good sense of movement here with him he's scuttling you know he's got the larger claw on the one hand definitely a lot of nice features and depth on the model like I said earlier, I'm afraid it's going to ruin my brushes trying to get all those little cracks and crevices. So I'm thinking I might just start with like a spray colored primer and go from there. I think that might be a little bit easier than doing it all with a brush. Everybody's in his shadow there. So, again, big model. Keep your eyes peeled. One on the plus side... Mears tends to run all kinds of interesting specials, so if you're in the market for giant, and I mean, you know, obviously very giant crustacean crab monster men, I think you can't really go wrong, and I mean, looking at all the other samples I've got here off the top of my head, currently on the market, he's probably the biggest giant crab humanoid. Mears already has the best giant crab monster as well, but I don't have that, and it's quite expensive. But having put this guy together, I might keep my eyes peeled for more Fomorian giant monsters. So, big thumbs up to Mears. Good job on this, and keep on bringing out those underwater dudes for the Fomorians already. We've been waiting for them. So, with that said... This is High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching and we'll see you all later. Bye-bye.